How do you deal with haters? There are lots of ways of looking at haters. Here's a way I've found extremely helpful that I haven't heard from anyone else ever, but I do see it. I swear I see it everywhere, time and time again. In fact, when I hate on someone, and let's face it, everyone hates on someone deep down. This works on me like crazy, and I'm more than okay with it because I don't want to hate on anyone. I don't. Do you? I only got time to show love to people, or at least I try to make it. Do you? No one at the top is hating on anyone. Well, at least no one's staying at the top. If you can stay at the top and hate on others, well, you probably have like mental superpowers or something. One way is to overwhelm them with content. I love doing this one. A lot of people like looking at shit that they hate, writing negative comments, laughing at it, and just spending their time showing that it's not something they enjoy by any means at all. However, if you show them enough of it, they will eventually open up. All rejection is just unfinished business. If they have too many things to even react to, you kind of just kill them with your output. This is probably the toughest thing to do, but in the meantime, you'll gather so, so, so many supporters. I swear it is crazy. Put out shit relentlessly for a year. Just a year. I mean, you should be doing it forever, honestly. But in a year of time, they will either shut up, not even halfway through because these people have no persistence or they'll find that one piece that they enjoy and they'll point it out to you eventually when haters give you a pass on just one thing i don't know about you but to me that one piece of information is a fucking gold mine when i get it because those things are usually things your fans like about you more than anything else that would make sense would it i don't know but it can't hurt to find out another way is to overwhelm them with value value is a tricky subject not exactly a controversial one but definitely tricky in a way it's like beauty it's kind of subjective because it's like what kind of value money trust loyalty commitment attention focus apparently those aren't the same thing energy, time, value. Lots of people value these things differently. Maybe your coworker cares way more about someone's loyalty to them than they do about their own time. Maybe your brother or sister values their own energy a lot more than getting somebody's attention. If you can't easily find out what the values are, just assume the person wants all of them and narrow down the values based on how they react. This can be a little tough. I know a lot of this sounds like you're kind of manipulating people into liking your music, but it's like, what else are you gonna do? Other than just brushing them off your shoulder like they don't mean anything at all? These people do have value. Everybody has time. Everybody has money. Everyone has attention. And any of it could be yours. Many of these things are like, bro, why do you put so much focus on your haters? Why not put focus on the people supporting you all the time? I want to be clear about something. Showing gratitude for those people and delivering constantly to them should go without saying. That is very implied. It just happens to not be what this video is about. That's all. You could also overwhelm them with kindness. Kindness is actually what these people probably need more than anything else. Kindness is like the outer antidote for the inner sorrow. The type of sorrow that makes people want to put others down. Nobody trying to shit on your self-esteem is going to be as polarized as someone being overwhelmed with kindness when they do it. Another way is to overwhelm them with curiosity. You can do this by asking them questions. Make this about them. Shift the focus of the conversation. This is so fucking easy. This is probably the easiest, I would argue, the least emotionally risky of these, I want to say tactics. Everybody has something they like to talk about. If they can only talk about absolutely nothing but how bad you are at what you do, they're probably mentally ill and they probably need to go to some sort of psychiatric hospital. Otherwise, people love talking about themselves. The more there is on their profiles or websites, the more there is to ask them about. There's so much to ask me about. I hope there's so much to ask you about too. Like, hey man, I just listened to the song and I found it really interesting. I was wondering where you get your inspiration for that colorful lyricism. Bear with me here. I know that sounds like something someone would ask you if they were trying to sell you flowers or wedding supplies or something, but if you could phrase it a little differently, it will overpower them. It is too positive. It is too powerful. It is too valuable. Haters hate being shown that they're interesting to people they hate on because it's the exact opposite reaction. They both expect and normally get from others. All of this will drive them insane. This is the ultimate strategy. I have tried many different things. This has actually won people over. I've gotten emails for my email list with this. I don't know why exactly someone would try to win over their haters. I know lots of rappers hear someone say, this is trash. And they're like, man, fuck, 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 fuck you. But I don't know, man, I've won people over. When they go on my Facebook page and laugh, react to my rapping videos, I have tried this with at least a hundred people. I message them on my personal profile and I ask them what's funny about my music. I specify that I'm not really offended. I'm just kind of curious. A lot of the time, they're surprised that I even bothered reaching out to them. I swear, if you try this, you will be surprised. You get different results every time. It's very interesting. And the reason for this is that it is a well-spread idea that you cannot please everybody. However, times and life are beginning to change in ways it seems they never did before or could. Problems aren't problems now. Now they're becoming mysteries. <laughs> and the difference between a problem and a mystery is definitely a topic for another video. So that's my strategy for dealing with haters. What do you guys think? What helps you guys deal with haters? What kind of actual practical things have helped? Please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to connect with me, there are links in the description to all my social media. There's also a link to my production kit where you can find all the equipment I use to make music. If you buy any, I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making videos like this for you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. If you can turn on that little bell and receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. You guys can find me everywhere and I will see you then.